is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony today we are in the all new 2019 mazda 3 courtesy of faulkner mazda in harrisburg pa and so things have changed slightly for this year so i am very excited to bring this one to you guys so as always let's start with pricing and so there will be several different trim levels of course for the 2019 mazda 3 first one being the base sedan that is going to start at twenty one thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars select sedan for twenty three thousand four hundred and ninety five then you have the preferred for twenty five thousand ninety five dollars and lastly the premium sedan which starts at twenty seven thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars and as you guys probably already know, there is a hatchback version as well. If you wanted to swap up to that hatchback version for the base trim level, add 2,600. For all other trims, simply add $1,000 to those prices. And it gets even better because this year, the Mazda 3 now does offer all wheel drive available. If you wanted that, add $1,400 to any of those prices. But that is definitely gonna be popular, especially here in Pennsylvania. But so that for the 2019 Mazda 3, there is currently one one engine available that is going to be a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder that is going to put out 186 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 186 pound feet of torque available at 4,000 rpm again power sent to front wheels or all wheels through a six speed manual or a six speed automatic which is more than likely going to be the case because that manual transmission option that is only available if you go with the front wheel drive version of the premium hatchback so that is how you're going to get the manual if you wanted it but in addition to that there is a sport driving mode button just to the left of the shifter there so to put it simply that's going to adjust the throttle response and the shift points a little more power on demand if you hit that and for an even better acceleration again that all-wheel drive setup especially in colder climates is definitely going to put the power to the ground even better giving you an even zippier acceleration than you otherwise would have with the front wheel drive version but all right so i think you guys know what we have to do next i am going to put it in sport mode here again that button is just to the left of the shifter and we are going to do a quick little acceleration here and let's see how quickly we can get the new 2019 Mazda 3 up to speed. Not too bad for a small car. Um, definitely wouldn't mind a turbocharged engine. That would be fun, but dang, really not too bad. Definitely not gonna have any issues merging onto the highway or anything like that. But so then to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so of course you will find four wheel disc brakes will come standard on this one. And as far as the braking feel goes, yeah, not gonna have any issues there either. Touching on the handling and suspension, there is an independent front suspension with an anti-roll bar, also a limited slip differential as well. And that is definitely gonna help with traction around cornering, also speed sensing steering. And as far as the steering feel goes, as always, Mazda does have a little bit of a heavier steering feel as opposed to some of the other cars in this class, like the Civic and definitely the Corolla. So that I definitely do appreciate in the Mazda 3. Touching on ride quality, it does ride like a smaller compact car would. so. No issues there for me. And then my short test drive cabin noise was definitely no issues for me either. But taking a look at visibility, this is going to differ whether you go with the hatchback or the sedan. The sedan is going to give you slightly better visibility. And just because of the hatchback shape, there is going to be a little less visibility with that one. But in my opinion, the styling is definitely worth it. I love the look of this hatchback. And if you wanted even more visibility, there is a head up display available if you wanted it. That is going to actually be with the premium trim level. But enough of the driving dynamic. Let's check out the exterior now of this redesigned 2019 Mazda 3. And so up front you will find projector beam halogen headlights that will come standard and they will actually also come with the automatic feature. Meaning when it starts to get dark out they're going to turn on automatically for you so you don't have to worry about that. LED headlights are actually going to come with the premium trim level if you wanted it though. Then make your way to the side. Power adjustable body colored side mirrors will come standard. And integrated turn signals are going to be found on the preferred trim level that we have today. Taking a look down at the wheel setup. 16 inch wheels will come with the base trim level. However, 18 inch wheels are going to come with the select trim level and up. Then make your way around to the back on this new Mazda 3. There are completely redesigned taillights for 2019. And in my opinion, they look a ton better. Definitely a little more unique. And they will actually come LED if you go with the premium trim level. But And by the way as well, since we have it, if you went with the hatchback, there is also going to be a black rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. And just below that, a rear window wiper as well. But now let's make our way all the way to the bottom. Dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So you guys know what we have to do next, as always, here is that exhaust clip. And 
let's open now as far as how to open the rear trunk. There actually is no button on the key fob, so I am just simply going to lift up under that Mazda emblem. It's kind of hidden under the Mazda emblem. That's pretty cool, but that is how you're going to open that one up for you. And once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 13 cubic feet. And if that was not enough space, those rear seats do, of course, fold down. There is a 60-40 split for a good bit of extra space if you needed it there. Make your way to the rear legroom that comes in at 35.1 inches. So for reference, this is me sitting behind myself. I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. So actually plenty of room for me. And for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders as well. However, no rear ventilation on this one, but make your way to the front seats. Cloth finish will come with that base trim level. You will get a leatherette finish if you go with the select or the preferred trim levels. And there is a full leather finish if you were to go with the premium trim level, but also wanted to mention the preferred trim is also going to add a power driver seat and heated front seats as well. Then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping and it will come leather wrapped for the premium trim. And when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Mazda logo on the one side and when you flip it over, absolutely nothing on the other side. It's pretty cool because all the buttons, the lock and unlock are actually on the side of the key. I kind of think that's pretty cool. It's definitely unique. But anywho, it is all keyless entry with a push button start if you go with the select trim leveling up so all i am going to do is simply just put my foot on the brake here and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and then once started up tachometer is going to be on your left fuel gauge is on your right and your speedometer is going to be front and center it's also going to let you know how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's your outside temperature up there as well and your average miles per gallon at any given time as well but now let's make our way to overall interior quality dual zone climate control is going to come with a select trim level and up and since we're mentioning this i love how they tie in the climate control to the air vents on the passenger side as kind of one uniform design cue there that is definitely very nice but i gotta admit i definitely love that design cue but also power sunroof is going to come with the premium trim level that's how you're going to get that one there is an overhead sunglass holder for every single trim level of this one and i'm definitely a fan of the two-toned color scheme and there are some aluminum trim accents throughout this one as well but now let's make our way to the the tech display on this one there is going to be an 8.8 inch color display screen front and center by the way 8.8 inches right now is a good bit larger than most other display screens found at other manufacturers out there right now so definitely a fan of that bluetooth and audio streaming is going to come standard android auto and apple carplay will be found if you go with the select trim level and up and by the way i should mention to control what is on that display screen up there there is a circular dial and buttons just behind the shifter there so that's how you're going to control what is on there but that's all also going to give you your average miles per gallon once again up there and of course you can check out your radio settings as well and by the way when it comes to the sound system the bass and select trim levels are going to give you six speakers however if you go with the preferred or premium trim levels then you are going to get a 12 speaker bose sound system and so i think you guys know what we have to do next now since i mentioned it let's turn on the radio see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> Not too bad, not the most bass I've ever heard in the vehicle, but I do like that there is a volume knob right behind the shifter here as well, so that makes it very easy to turn the radio up and down, so. And you can do that on the steering wheel, by the way, but that system is okay, not the most bass out there, but it'll do for the size of the Mazda 3. But so the last thing on that tech display, at least I wanted to mention to you guys, is when you do put the Mazda 3 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also a driver's knee airbag up front as well. But the real safety features kick in when you go with the select trim level and up. Here's why. That select trim level and up is going to give you eye active sense, active safety features, which are going to include things like smart city brake support, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, adaptive front lighting, high beam control, lane keep assist, driver attention alert, and rain sensing windshield wipers as well which are probably scary when they first come on but then that is definitely a feature you will get used to and absolutely love but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold